Good morning, everyone. That little introduction is called uh, Coffee House. I can't pronounce the first name. It looks French, but um, upper, it's uh, a little appropriate. It's a Monday morning. I have coffee at my side. Anyways, um, continuing on with our little um, discussion of Google Drive, I thought today I would show you how Excel works. So I'm going to open up Google Chrome. And again, I'm already signed in, so I can go to my nine dots go into Google Drive there's the information that we previously had but today we're going to use Google Sheets now again this is very similar to um, Microsoft Excel and something I thought I would demonstrate uh, which came up as uh, something of a, a quandary we see with our society today that our younger generation either because the education system didn't teach them or maybe they didn't learn it or so on and so forth. Excel is really good at doing math and so we're going to make a checkbook. Um, and this sounds funny, but it's amazing uh, what I have seen is the generation above me um, all learned how to do balancing your checkbook and reconciling a bank statement and so on and so forth as a part of their education when they were younger, whether they learned it through school, learned it through college, a parent taught them, and they learned it. My generation, yeah, it's about a 50-50. I learned it because I took accounting when I was in high school. Uh, of course, I have a degree in accounting, so I already knew how to do this the long way, using paper and pen. Um, with the advent of spreadsheets, uh, obviously it makes it a lot easier. Um, the generation below me, uh, which would be my daughters, um, have no clue. Uh, when they go to buy something, they look at their bank balance on their app and say, oh yeah, I got the money for it, not realizing that they made an Amazon purchase three days ago and the money hasn't come out for that, and so they end up bouncing a check. So this will hopefully have a dual purpose. Um, hopefully to show people how to kind of like make a basic checkbook in Excel. Also demonstrates the um, uh, functionality of Excel and Google Sheets and so on and so forth. So we're going to title this my checkbook. So you, probably everything you need to know is uh, the date and how much was the check for or charge if you're using a debit card, how much was your deposits, which is your paycheck or however, and a balance. Probably what you would want to also know is who and what it was for. So those are your, your basics. Um, and so you want to kind of like lock that so as you're scrolling up and down the sheet, it doesn't move. So we're going to go into here and under view is freeze. I'm not sure exactly what it is on Excel, but it's a similar thing. So we're going to freeze it. And so if you look over here in the right, watch what happens. The row number one stays even though all the other numbers change and that's important because when you're scrolling down pages and pages of checkbook entries you'll want to know so let's say your first job was on january 5th and your deposit was oh we'll just take a random number 647.35 or four um that's your deposit that's what you should have in your bank account so what we would like to do is equal sign starts a formula. Um, well, let's start this. You have to have a starting point. So January 1st, you have a new checkbook. has a zero balance. On January 5th, you get your first paycheck. Like I said, it's going to be direct deposit, paper check, however you do it, but you put it in the bank. It's like $647.34. So, as you see there, it didn't exactly uh, update the balance, so we have to tell the spreadsheet how to do that. So, equal sign is the beginning of your formula. So you would do current balance minus any charges plus any deposits long and behold there is a balance there now watch this the smartest thing to do um, is to right click copy and remember I mentioned this before that Google doesn't like you to do right click copy so we're going to do right click copy and see if it gives it that warning nope 
Okay, so we're going to go to the row below it. You're going to hold your left shift key down. Press it down. And you're going to use your arrow key to highlight a whole bunch of items. And at this point, you're going to do right click, paste. You see that number is going to be the same. Now, that's a running total. What was this for? This was my paycheck. So, of course, after five days of not eating, because you didn't go anywhere, you went to McDonald's. So, you know, when you got yourself a large meal, side snack, so on and so forth, came to like $6.47. I know that's cheap for McDonald's. Look, it automatically adjusted it. That's nice. And then you could put in here McDonald's. Of course, it helps when I can spell too. And then later that day, I don't know, you bought a pair of jeans at Walmart. And they were, well, maybe you bought a couple of pairs of jeans and extra groceries. We're going to call it 57, 67, and your balance updated. Note that the N0 lead it uh, disappeared. Um, that happens because of formatting. Um, and I'll show you how to make that format here, and it's a good thing to do. So on a format, you want to highlight, again, all the cells that you need to do the format to. And since this is going to be all numbers, we're going to go through the very first one. Again, hold your shift key down, do right arrow, do down arrow, so you get a whole section highlighted. And this is your formatting options up here. Um, you have more options such as scientific and accounting and financial. Um, probably for everyone's um, simplicity, use accounting because then it puts dollar signs in front of it. And after all, we are talking about money. So, all right. So, oh yeah, well, I, you found out you forgot to pay the rent. So now you have a late fee on it. So on the 6th, your rent was $300 plus your $25 late fee plus your $5 per day being late. So it was like $350, we'll say. There you go. Paid the rent. And so the rest of the week you starve until about January 12th when you get your paycheck again. And we'll call it paycheck. As long as I can learn to spell. So this is a very basic, simple way of doing a checkbook. Um, there's something to note with Google Sheets. Um, I don't think XO has this limitation at first. It does. XO I think has 65,500 and some odd rows. Um, Google caps you off at a thousand, uh, and then you can add another thousand. Um, so for simplicity, this is the easiest way to keep a basic checkbook. Now they can get a lot more complicated. My business checkbook that I keep on Google Sheets has an extra column in there and uh, I have reserved money I pull out and so on and so forth. So it gets a little bit extra complicated and you can add those complications later on. Um, but this is how you do a basic uh, checkbook. Really simple. It'll save you a lot of headache and times, you know. Something to kind of remember if you have automatic payments out. Um, the nice thing about this is you can put automatic payments in if you know when they're scheduled and how much they're for. Uh, you know, $35 for the electric. You know, uh, and you know the other, other payment comes out on the 8th. And it's a $212 for the cable. So, I mean, you could do this and see these are out of order now. So the other thing you could do then is, is go up to whoop, be in the right column go up to data and you can sort the column and it puts it in the correct order. Um, like I said, kind of important to know and you can see when you are negative, it puts it in brackets. Bad thing to do. Um, you can color code these. Um, that's a whole different ball of wax, way too complicated for what we need for here. but. If you have it in parentheses or it's a negative number, you know that's a bad thing. So, 
again, just the, uh, the functionalities of Excel, Microsoft Excel or Google Sheets or LibreOffice has a version of uh, a spreadsheet also. I think it's called spreadsheet, real complicated. Concept is the real same. The, the best, best thing you can do to manage your finances starting off, uh, and this is really true for Gen X and, and millennial kids and so on and so forth, do this. Trust me, do this. It'll save a lot of headaches for you. Um, if you do it on a cloud-based uh, platform, like I said, then you can also pull it up on your phone before you make that $500 purchase for uh, a vinyl record that you really absolutely have and find out you only have $489 and you're embarrassed when your card is declined. So this way you can check your balance beforehand. Um, just, you know, things to remember. I hope this serves as a, a, an extra way to demonstrate the versatility of spreadsheets and hopefully it helps. If you like this video, like, share, subscribe, click the donate button if you found it useful, um, and come back, you know, hopefully next day, day or two, and I'll record another one. You guys have a great day, and here's an outro. Later, everyone. <laughs>